So this question, even though it's not as common as the first two, also gets asked quite a bit. And that question is whether or not I need to go with a heavyweight hiking or backpacking boot or a lighter weight hiking shoe. And much with everything else that we've talked about, it really depends on the type of terrain you're gonna be hiking in. Say for example, you're gonna be hiking in relatively loose, talus terrain, you're going on a Perna circuit, you are going to an area where you need a lot more protection around your foot, and, or you might be carrying a ton of gear. You're doing a full through hike of the Superior Hiking Trail, and you need a significant amount of gear in your back, so you need a lot of ankle support. That's where going with a heavier, more protective, more supportive style of boot is gonna be better than a low hiker. Now, let's say you're counting ounces. You're doing a fast through hike of the AT or the Pacific Crest Trail, or even just a portion of the SHT. You're only going for a weekend, you're not carrying a lot of stuff, you're carrying real lightweight gear, you don't need a ton of support. Then going with a low, lighter weight hiking shoe is way better. Or even better yet, if you're actually looking at really saving ounces, you're going with a trail runner. And this is where most people land nowadays because most people are carrying lighter stuff. They're not carrying a ton of gear. So it really depends on the terrain you're going in and how much gear you're taking. And that's for the general populace. When you get into specific individuals, now it depends on, okay, do I as a person need more ankle support or can I have a shoe that allows my ankle to be more free forming, free moving? And what we mean by that is, okay, if I am hiking and let's say I hit a spot that is gonna tweak my ankle one way or the other, right? If I have relatively weak ankles, and even someone who's in their 20s and 30s might have relatively weak ankles and needs more ankle support. But this is more common with folks that are older. If I end up tweaking my foot one way or the other, this will give me the support I need so that I don't do anything drastic to my ankle, right? I step on a rock, my ankle goes either way. It gives me that extra support so I don't tweak my ankle a certain way. For those of us that are a little bit younger or have stronger ankles, the ankle is meant to absorb a lot of those things. And especially if I'm not carrying a lot of gear. If I'm not carrying a lot of gear and I don't have a lot of extra weight, my ankles are meant to handle my weight just as well as anything I have on my back. So a low hiking shoe is way better because it gives my ankle that mobility. My ankle wants to be mobile when it's walking over things. That's the whole idea behind how, my, how our bodies are designed. And so if I have relatively strong ankles, or even if I have weak ankles, and I'm hiking in a boot that's locking in my ankle in a certain part here, and I do tweak it, it's not my ankle that moves, it's my hip that moves. Because my ankle is no longer kind of mobile and maneuverable, it's locked into place. So any maneuverability is gonna transfer up into the other part of my body, which in this case is gonna be up in my hip. So if I don't absolutely need extra ankle support, and I'm not carrying a ton of gear, I'm not carrying the kitchen sink on a giant backpacking trip, then foregoing with a higher ankle boot is much better than going with a lower uh, hiking shoe is significantly much better. Now let's say you're maybe a little bit hesitant to go this far, and you're like, huh, you know, my ankles are pretty strong, but I don't know. I still want a little bit more ankle support, but I don't want to go as crazy as a full backpacking boot. Well, we got you covered. In the middle, hence the name, is a midsole. So a mid hiker has the ankle support that's required, but still gives you a bit more maneuverability when you're hiking. So if I'm in an area where I'm carrying maybe a, a decent amount of weight, all right, decent amount of stuff on my back, but I don't necessarily need this because I have relatively strong ankles, but this freaks me out in case I do step on a rock a certain way, then going with a mid is way better because I get the support, I get everything I need. It's still relatively stiff, although this Nixus mid is relatively flexible, which is still fine. But I have something that's gonna protect my feet. It's got the toe cap on it. It's got the support I need, but it's not gonna overdo it. And this is significantly lighter than this. That's another question that we get asked. It's just the physical weight of the boot. This heavy backpacking Camino is a trekking boot. This is a heavy, beefy, burly, I can plow through anything type of boot, right? Whereas this is, and, and even more so, the on running, the Cloud Venture, this is a fast, I'm just zipping through, I'm tiptoeing through tulips with this shoe. I'm going fast, I'm going light. I'm, in fact, I'm running, hence the trail running nature of this shoe. So I'm moving really fast with this, right? 
or anything in between where I'm on relatively decent terrain. I'm not too concerned about talus or scree or things that are loose. I might hit a rock here and there. I'm killing, carrying relatively lightweight gear, but I'm not going crazy ounce, uh, saving on ounces. But I need something a little bit more ankle support because I'm gonna move a little bit faster. That's where this comes in handy. Also, one of the big concerns is, okay, am I doing a through hike or a day hike? Right, how long am I gonna be out there? Because over time, I mean, a day hike, you're doing it for a short amount of time, you might not need a shoe that gives you a significant amount of ankle support or that's relatively heavy or relatively lightweight because you're not gonna be out there very long. Right? So if all you have or all you're looking for is a backpack boot because you are thinking about a trip where you're doing a lot, you're carrying a lot, and you also might do day trips here and there, but you only want to get one boot, these still work great. They're totally fine because you're not worried about saving on weight, right? Because you're only out there for the day. But if I'm doing a through hike and I'm looking at, okay, well, I'm carrying a decent amount of gear, but I'll be out there for a long time. I don't want my feet to feel heavy. Right? I, I want to be... I want to feel light, I want to feel spry, I want to be moving fast, even though I have maybe 35, 40 liters of gear in my back. That's where going with a hiking shoe or a mid is better. I still get the support I want, I still get my stability in my ankles that I want, but I'm going a little bit lighter weight and I don't necessarily need to go with a heavy burly backpacking boot. Choosing the correct footwear on your next hiking adventure can actually lead to a great experience or can lead to you regretting your purchase. Well, you're looking at buying a heavy backpacking boot for a day hike or a through hike, we're looking at buying a low hiker for a through hike or a day hike. Choosing that correct footwear might make that trip one of the best or might make you think twice about buying your next shoe from that shop. So, this, hopefully this video helped you out. If you have more questions, definitely swing on to Midwest Mountaineering, come ask us, and we'll definitely, as you can tell, get you in the right footwear that'll fit your next hiking experience.